Good. Well, first of all, um, thank you very much to Ed. And can I just reiterate what he said about Tim Lowe? We're not normally as um, non-partisan as this. We usually <laughs> knock hell out of each other. But actually, um, Tim, Tim Lawton and I did 20 years ago because he stood in Sheffield Brightside, but he knew it was a hopeless cause, and I've been his friend ever since. <laughs> Uh, but he, he, did, he, did, he really cared and cares about, and that's why he's here this afternoon, and I'm really pleased that Julie Higgs, uh, my own colleague, is giving such terrific support to BYC as well. But Rosina, you, you mentioned a number of issues. Oh, can I just abuse my position for a minute and say how pleased I am uh, that Jordan and Hassan and Emily, who are young inspectors in Sheffield, and Sally Scrivener, who's from Sheffield as a Youth Parliament member are here this afternoon. I just thought I'd say that so that they can go back and say I abuse being here. Can I just say something about the young inspectors? They, they literally inspect what's being done on their behalf. I think it's a great idea. And someone said to me last week when I was at a youth event, what about uh, the, the, the young mayors? And I said, oh, that's working really well in some parts of the country. I said, what about young police commissioners. We want to, uh, to think, and there's, James, something that you might talk to youth organisations at local level about, because it would really give them a shock if young people were mirroring what they were doing and actually doing it better. So there's a, there's a thought. I just wanted today to say how critical it is that we give support to your voice. Zina said that it's about um, not talking on your behalf, but actually being alongside you and listening and you having your own voice. And I think at this moment in time that's very, very critical. Uh, Rosina, you mentioned careers, which is uh, something that's both of great interest to me but also worries me in terms of the advice that's available and I hope, Ed, you'll be able to encourage across government that uh, drive to ensure that it's, it's online but it's also on tap at local level as well. Um, I also believe that young people have the most enormous challenge at this moment. Unemployment amongst the under 25s is well over twice as much as it is for the rest of us. And it, it is my generation that are in the most comfortable position. We have a pension uh, ahead of us. Uh, we have had a lifetime, most of us, of work. Uh, we've been extremely fortunate to be able to build up perhaps uh, some investment in our homes. We need to ensure that our commitment is that you can do the same. And it'll only happen if you have a voice and that you realise that with your participation, you can make a difference and change the world. Seven years ago, young people came together in Make Poverty History. They literally walked the streets. They literally changed the minds of world leaders on climate change and on debt in Africa. You can do it locally and you can do it internationally. I'm trying to set up have set up, but it's not launched yet, a little charity to try and join up what's happening for young people who are unemployed. Not inventing something new, not second guessing what's already taking place or circumventing existing charities and voluntary organisations, but just trying to put a menu together so that there's a long term offer for young people out of work. We've just literally, as oldies, we've got to commit ourselves to supporting you to make the world a better place. And if we can do that, and the British Youth Council are part of that process, James. We can do that and we can liberate your voice, then we can change the world. In the past it was done in awful circumstances. Today the prospects for some young people are much worse than for others. But actually, you can change it. You can turn the world on its head. Some of us have tried. You can stand on our shoulders and do what we didn't do and build on that progress. Thank you very much indeed.